Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, standing in the sanctuary. Yes, the sanctuary of our Lord. My friends, I'm so excited. I got the call around 4, 4 p.m. last Saturday that the governor's edict had been overturned, that he was proven to be uh, uh, too hard and the church was singled out and where we could return back to the sanctuary and worship the God of the Bible. I've been telling you that we're coming back. I've been taped texting people who text me and they says, Bishop, we, we miss the church. We miss being in service. We want to be back in the church. And I would text them and say, soon and very soon. Well, last, last Saturday around four o'clock, I got the word that we were allowed. Can you believe this? Allowed to come back to the house of God to worship. We got our option back in about seven Sundays to come back and practice what I thought was our First Amendment constitutional rights. And I was reading the Bill of Rights this morning, reading the Constitution, and I still haven't found an asterisk or an exception in it that says uh, in case of COVID-19. So now it's open. And I want you to know, thank God for my executive assistant, Patricia Lester, missionary Patricia Lester, because when I called her and I called my first assistant, Elder John Amanchuku, and I said, hey, we're open. In fact, John called me and let me know that we were open. When I contacted Patricia, she put in place a plan that she had presented to me. Check this out. At least three weeks ago, we've been preparing. See, when you believe God, you prepare for what God is going to do. For the last three weeks, we've had a plan in place so that when the, when the Lord moved, we wouldn't miss a Sunday. 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. on Saturday night, the word went out. We didn't advertise on Facebook. We just sent out constant contact within the, the membership of the church. And the saints came to church Sunday morning, this past Sunday morning, and we had church live in the sanctuary of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And it was a tremendous move of God. Now, I'm going to come back and, and, and uh, close, but I, I want to show you that that even though we opened up, we had things in place to keep the saints safe, to practice social distancing, to make sure that we are wise because we understand that the governor's edict and the nature of the coronavirus itself are two very dif different things altogether. And once we were allowed to come back to church, can you believe this, allowed to come to church? We still understand that the COVID-19 is real. And hey, I love my flock. I love the members. I love the body of Christ. So most certainly uh, are we not going to have an environment where I'm going to risk my life, the life of my members, my, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, the, the saints of God, those who trust me, the church mothers who came in screaming hallelujah, shouting praise the Lord as they walked into the house of God. Most certainly we're going to keep the environment safe for them. And we did. And I'm going to show you what was already in place. Now, Patricia, take it away. In the sanctuary, we came on Saturday night and we marked off each space where a person is allowed to sit. So you'll see on the front row, we have a one that we mark off for singles on each end of this row. So people will know exactly where to sit when they come in. And then we have a space in the middle that keeps us six feet away from each person on the front row. And by, and so on and so on. And also for our couples, we didn't want to leave them out. We wanted them to be able to sit together. So what we have done is we've marked a two here. And even with our couples, we've spaced everything out. We've pre-measured. We made sure that everybody is six feet in distance and you can be comfortable coming into the sanctuary. And for our families, three and four and five individuals in the family, we've marked off for our families. So here you'll see our ushers understand that if we're saying families, they are on this end of the pew. And even on the one behind us, we can sit another family on this end of the pew. And they're still 
properly social distance. And in the event that we reach capacity in the sanctuary, we've turned our fellowship hall into an overflow area. We have our monitor mounted on the wall and we spaced out our chairs six feet apart to make for an enjoyable, comfortable and safe environment. Well, you see, you see, we're thinking we love the Lord. We have faith in the Lord. You know, we're doing all those things. We're having church. How about this? We're having church and we're being responsible. <laughs> We're having church and we're looking out for the best interest of the saints because there are so many who says, you know, out of concern for my members, we're going to keep the church doors closed. Well, I want to say out of concern for my members, we open the church doors, but we also are keeping the saints safe in terms of practicing so social distancing and all of the best practices. Now, at the end of the day, you can't have a risk-free environment uh, in society at all. Operating rooms are sterile. They are sterilized, and yet people get infections and people die. So you know what? At the end of the day, except the Lord watch over the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. So tonight, for all of you who are comfortable and who are ready to come back to the house of the Lord. And for those who are not, we're still going to do the Facebook Live. Oh, yeah, we're going to still do the Facebook Live, YouTube Live. But for those who want to come out as they came out with the sisters this past a Tuesday night, though, and the preachers who were in the multipurpose room this past Tuesday night, uh, the, the sisters were with my wife and what a marvelous gathering they had. And they had the sisters on Zoom. You know, we cover both bases. I'm glad that what has been restored, though, is not a, a Zoom option, but our, our, our option and our right to worship. So tonight we're going to be here. Live in the sanctuary of the upper room, Church of God in Christ, teaching and preaching the word of God. And I want you to join me for Bible study. Yeah, we're going to study the word of God together. God bless.